we're going to solve this problem here and we have the functions already factored and y intercept you're just going to plug in p of 0 and whatever you get goes right here uh, there's that y value you get all right x intercepts how do we get those well the zero product property we set this equal to zero and then either x minus 2 equals 0 or x plus 6 equals 0 solve both those for x so add 2 uh, to both sides or subtract 6 and there you go end behavior how do we do end behavior we're going to look at the power function and I call this p of x I'm going to write down the original oh, p of x is already in use I usually call the original f or g so I'll just call this uh, uh, I'll just call it f I'm going to write down the original but I'm going to throw away the constants. I'm only keeping the highest power of x in each term. So that minus 2 is getting thrown away. The plus 6 is getting thrown away. And what we have left is x squared. Now this is a happy parabola. So if I graphed it, it would look like this. And our end behavior is up on both sides. Now to enter this in, we're going to think about this first one here when x approaches positive infinity so x approaching positive infinity means to the right is to the right so what happens when you go to the right we're referring to this part of the end behavior so y or f of x approaches positive infinity so we'll put a positive here for that answer so I'll just put it right there and then uncover that Okay, so now for the last part, x approaches negative infinity. This means to the left. So it's when x gets smaller and smaller, or I like to think of as a more and more negative value. So it's really to the left, which is referring to that side of the end behavior. Now it turns out for us here, they're both up. So as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity, 